I confess that Jesus is come in the flesh. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. American families are being decimated by the worst inflation in half a century. Banks are failing, our currency is crashing, and the dollar will soon no longer be the world standard, which will be our greatest defeat in over 200 years. The company Walletmore is selling microchips as alternative payment options. The chip is about the size of a grain of rice. It costs about $300 and it'll be implanted, Julia, into your head. I don't know, I feel kind of <laughs> creepy about this. Instead of carrying your wallet in your back pocket or your purse, a tech company wants you to keep it under your skin. Hmm, all right, so let's explain here. Walletmore is selling microchips implanted in your hand as an alternate payment. Could this be the future? Elon and his team at Neuralink have recently made the claim that their brain implant technology will be able to cure blindness. Elon said that even if someone has never had vision before, if they were born blind, Neuralink will allow them to see the world. Elon Musk wants to implant a chip in your brain to read your thoughts. He's done it with a monkey, he's done it with a pig. Will a human be next? It's the concept behind his company Neuralink, which is developing what's known as a brain-computer interface. Essentially, it's a chip implanted into your skull that connects to your brain with ultrafine wires. The chip, known as the Link, processes neural signals, feeding them to computers out in the real world. Elon Musk is a man of many things. Cars, rocket ships, tweeting, and brain implants. Neuralink, owned by Musk, claims to have created a brain chip that treats paralysis and blindness. But we're still a ways away from testing it out on patients after the FDA denied Neuralink's request to start human trials. The United States Food and Drug Administration has finally given their approval for Elon Musk's brain implant company Neuralink to begin their first ever clinical human trial. Let that sink in. The window of opportunity for Neuralink to change the world is open. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time. The San Francisco-based bank becomes the third to fail in the U.S. in two months. First Republic's assets are being sold to J.P. Morgan Chase, America's biggest bank. Customers saw 84 branches across eight states reopen Monday under the new name after regulators worked all weekend to get the deal done. This is now the second largest bank failure in U.S. history.
Tonight, First Republic seized by government regulators and sold to the nation's largest bank, J.P. Morgan Chase, after the second biggest bank failure in U.S. history. The president today attempting to reassure Americans the system is sound and this is not a bailout. In the U.S., where some of the world's leading money managers are warning the collapse of another American bank could lead to a credit crunch and an economic slowdown. The United States Federal Reserve is considering the creation of a digital dollar. Cyber currencies have many supporters, yet critics warn they would be a privacy nightmare. One currency expert claims the removal of cash would push America closer to a totalitarian state. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell told the House Financial Services Committee in March that the Fed had already begun testing a digital dollar. So what we're doing is experimenting in kind of early stage experimentation. How would this work? Does it work? What's the best technology? What's the most efficient? Just like paper dollars, a central bank digital currency, or CBDC, would be issued by the Federal Reserve. Those pushing for it say it would have several advantages over physical money. They say it could be used to fight inflation because the Fed would have more direct control over the money supply. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The man widely seen as the godfather of artificial intelligence has quit his job at Google, warning of the dangers of AI. It's technology that could be superior to the human brain and one of its pioneers now says part of him regrets his role in creating it. 75-year-old computer scientist Jeffrey Hinton says he quit his job at Google so he can independently share his concerns about AI technology, which include fears over disinformation and stealing human jobs, but also go far beyond that. This morning, as companies race to integrate artificial intelligence into our everyday lives, one man behind that technology has resigned from Google after more than a decade. Dr. Jeffrey Hinton, known as the godfather of artificial intelligence, says he stepped down so he can freely discuss the dangers of AI. He tells the New York Times he's worried about artificial intelligence taking jobs from people and also misinformation with fake videos, photos, and texts saying the average person will not be able to know what is true anymore. And he warns, it is hard to see how you can prevent the bad actors from using it for bad things. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke.
It was hard not to notice the unusual color of the sunset that fell into the Raleigh sky tonight. Then there's the layer of haze all over the capital city for a second day in a row. Tonight, hazy skies are blanketing wide swaths of the country, from Boston to Philadelphia to New York City, where you can barely make out the skyline. We know millions of you are watching tonight indoors and trying to escape this toxic air outside. In fact, 115 million Americans across 16 states tonight under hazardous air warnings and alerts. All of this from the Canadian wildfires. This system locked in place, bringing toxic smoke down into the U.S. like a conveyor belt. Tonight here in New York City, the mayor now urging everyone in the city to stay inside if you can. Tonight, New York City's skyline looking a lot like Mars as that massive, ominous plume of wildfire smoke pours over the border. Millions of Americans are feeling its effects from New York City to Philadelphia and D.C. and as far south as North Carolina and Georgia. It smelled like, you know, our neighbors might be having a campfire and it's just sort of an eerie feeling. Millions of people in Mexico have been warned to prepare for a possible evacuation after increased activity from the country's most dangerous active volcano, which has been spewing ash into several nearby towns since last week. The Burden of Damascus Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city and it shall be a ruinous heap. Tonight, new violence in Israel. Israel's defense forces saying three rockets were fired from Syria into Israeli territory, but only one landing in the Golan Heights. This coming after Israel's military said Palestinian militants unleashed a barrage of rockets on Israel earlier this week from both the Gaza Strip and Lebanon, the most cross-border violence since 2006. Israel's defense forces firing back, claiming to strike Hamas-controlled targets. Israel's military says its jets have struck targets in southern Syria in response to earlier rocket attacks. The airstrikes hit a Syrian military compound and radar systems in the area from where the rockets were fired. The Israeli army says it holds the state of Syria responsible for all acts carried out on its territory. At least six rockets were fired from Syrian territory towards Israel overnight. Some landed inside the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights, but no casualties have been reported. My father has opened the door. My bride, your time has come. For as lightning flashes from the east to the west, so shall you be here, then no more. The hour is very late. My time has come. Judgment has come. Righteous judgment has come. Believe on the Son of Man, that you may be spared. Verily I tell you, this world is not ready. I've delayed, but you still turn from me. Now I will judge you, I will raise my hand against you. You adulterous people, how long until you turn from your wicked ways? This time that you think you have doesn't exist. My father is angry. I speak, but you don't hear. I call, but you don't answer. Your decision is final.
my confirmation number was 323, which means a proclamation, a showing forth, and a public appearance. My second confirmation number was 227, which means true at that time. Thank you all so very much for watching. I pray that this video and message from our Lord Jesus Christ blessed you all and encouraged you all. If you are wondering what do I use for my numbers definitions, I use Strong's Concordance. And if you are wondering how do I receive my confirmation numbers, either the Holy Spirit gives it to me or I check the time that I receive the message. Whether I see you all in the next video or in the kingdom of heaven, I shall see you all again. God bless, stay vigilant, and keep occupying. Shalom. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus.